Hi guys, welcome to 123MyIT's uh, tutorial on how to install Mac OS X 10.8, which is the Mountain Lion version, uh, from DVD, uh, and this will be a complete clean install where we wipe out the hard drive, the existing data on the hard drive, and reinstall Mountain Lion only. Uh, what you need to do is when you pop in this, pop in the DVD in the side hold down your power button, power the machine off and then power it back on which we'll do now when you turn it back on make sure you hold down your alt button or your option key I'll just give you a quick look at that one, see that one there? that's your alt bu button um, hold that one down okay. and then what will happen is you'll see your disk come out this is like a pre pre OS, OS X environment uh, boot environment which allows you to uh, select more options, a bit like the BIOS screen uh, on your uh, your Windows or your Intel Pentium machines. Okay, so this is coming up now, and the DVD's in there, but it usually just takes a few minutes to actually uh, appear on the screen. Uh, so if you bear bear with it for a, bear with it for a second, you'll probably hear it in the background there spinning up. There it is and we'll just use our arrow keys or you can use your mouse to click on it if you want to click on it and then just double click to to install okay and it will go to the next screen now because of the sheer size of the data that's on the DVDs uh, this is actually a dual layer DVD which means it stores 8 gigs worth of data and because the mountain line is the latest or, or it's the current when current version of uh, Apple software. Um, it's actually quite a, quite a large copy, so um, it actually fit must, must store about eight, 8 gig of data on the DVD. So it takes quite a long time for it to boot up, and 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 um, what would you say? Uh, copy all the files from the DVD to to the local hard drive. Um, so this this step here might actually take some time. What I'll do is I'll just pause the video for the time being and then I'll bring it up when there's something a bit more exciting happening. Okay, so well, welcome back guys. Okay, so the copying of the screen or the copying of the DVD to the hard drive has just gone through. It's about to boot into the um, OSX screen which will allow us to do uh, some funky things like delete uh, the hard drive and and then reinstall the OSX uh, DVD to that hard drive. Uh, so we'll just give it a few minutes to come up there. Feel free to fast forward the video if any of this gets boring for you. Okay, so we've got some options here now. We've got restore from time machine backup. We've got reinstall OSX, get help online and disk utility. Now what we want to do for a clean install, we actually want to delete um, or erase the other disks that I've created on this um, on this machine. So if we click on Disk Utility, okay, we give that a second to come up. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this uh, Disk Utility. Um, it's in the Utilities menu and uh, in in OSX itself. Um, you probably burnt maybe you've burnt some DVDs or burnt some CDs uh, with this utility. Uh, but you can also delete mount drives, uh, erase drives, formatting format drives, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to come up. Alright, and as you can see on this MacBook Pro that we're working on, we have a 250 gigabyte uh, um, Hitachi disk. Okay, and what we're going to do when that comes up, it's still, still loading, we're going to click on that and we're going to format it or erase it as it, as it says uh, in the utility. Just give that one second to come up.
Okay, so it seems to be moving, but for some reason it's a little bit slow and letting us uh, select the disks that we want to erase. It doesn't actually let us select anything, as you can see at the moment. So it's uh, probably still reading from the DVD, because this whole screen here is actually uh, basically read from the read from the DVD. Uh, quite a big DVD so it takes a little bit of time for it to, to actually come up let us select anything as you can see even the menu up the top and you can hear the DVD spinning up now and then we get the little umbrella <coughs> hey, there we go it's finally caught up to us okay so then we can just hopefully go in here and click on one of these drives and we can start erasing the actual disk Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, it took sort of took its little time, and I mean, you guys will have this, may or may not have that sort of that same issue that we just had there. Um, so you can either click on either one of these discs. Um, I've actually got two discs in here because I've got one uh, uh, installed with Boot Camp, uh, uh, Windows 8 with Boot Camp, which I'll show you in another tutorial how to do. But basically, um, what we want to do is click on the the large disk, which is 250 gigs, and then we just want to click on Erase, which is the menu across here, and it says Format OSX Extended Journal. Yep, we just want to keep those the same. Now you can change the name if you want. Um, um, you can change the name on your Untitled disk if you prefer. You can change the Mac OSX or mountain lion or whatever you want to call it but we'll just leave it as untitled at this stage and we're just going to hit erase okay and I'm just confirming do you want to erase the partitions we'll just go yep erase click on those and you can see the little <coughs> you can see the little taskbar down there which has disappeared now and now we've only got one disk okay Alright, so that's great. So now what all, what we've done is we've just done a clean install. So we've just removed all the data that was on that local hard drive, okay, in the disk utility. Now we're going to close this one off. We're going to go back here. And we want to reinstall the OSX now. Okay, just double click on that or hit continue, however you prefer. <coughs> Alright, you get the mountain lion screen. Okay. To set up the installation of OSX 10.8 Mountain Lion, click Continue. So we click Continue. All right. Got the next screen here. So this is just the um, Apple licensing agreement. So we just want to agree on that. There's no way around that. You have to agree to it. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, I've got two disks here, and you might be saying, "Well, why have you got two disks?" Um, if you've already just formatted or erased the other disk, basically I've got a little USB key uh, plugged in the side, um, so it's only two gig in size, so we won't be able to install that anyway. Um, so what we would do now, if we want to proceed, we just click on our untitled disk and then click install. All right, and now this will take us to the the next part where it will just uh, install on the local hard disk there. Um, now, once this starts, it should actually come up and tell us how much time we have remaining for this install. Um, okay, so yeah, basically it's come up with about uh, 15, 13 minutes remaining. Um, so I'll pause the video 
and we'll restart it just before it's about to finish. Okay, see you then. Welcome back, guys. So basically, there's about a minute remaining on that install. Um, uh, as you can see, the slider bar across the bottom is almost finished. Uh, OSX Mountain Lion preparing to install your computer will restart automatically so should have about a minute to wait before it restarts a minute always is a bit longer when you're talking to PCs when you're talking about PCs because they also seem to say one minute but it usually means three or four minutes so if we just be a bit patient there until it finishes there we go <laughs> 46 seconds to go zero seconds now jumps quite quickly doesn't it And there we go, it's restarted now. The Apple screen, Apple boot up, grey Apple boot up screen, you're probably pretty familiar with by now. back to the installing screen and it says time remaining 21 minutes so it looks like it's got to install some other other bits of software uh, so I'll pause this video and uh, we'll kick it back off when, it's, when it gets a bit closer to one minute left one minute remaining okay see you then okay welcome back guys so again we've got about a minute to, to wait that installation that's just uh, finishing up now, finalising. Right, once this is done, it should actually reboot um, and then boot into the OSX main menu and ask us to um, set up OSX. So it will ask us for um, some options like location and time and things like that. Keyboard, select our keyboard, select our language. Just give it one second.
see the screen there and it says how sex was installed on your entitled disk. Your computer must restart to complete the installation. It will restart automatically. Or you can click the restart button there and that will restart it. Okay, not real sure why it's gone back to this screen, um, but we will restart. Unless it's still doing something. Yep, it's still doing something. So there we go, and it's restarted. It should put us into OS X um, startup boxes where it requests some information on how we're going to set up the operating system. cursor there. Okay. So we've worked gone on to the welcome screen. So you can just select your uh, location there. Alright, so for me I'll select Australia. And it says select your keyboard, Australian, just hit continue. Okay, this wants to this screen here wants you to transfer any information, maybe from another Mac or a Windows PC. We don't want to do anything like that right now, so we're just going to hit continue, and hit not now, and continue. This screen here enables the location services, so what this does is this allows you to um, yeah, track what track where you are, or use GPS if, if you've got a, um, a laptop that has GPS which is uh, built in. Uh, it allows you to um, yeah, have it uh, set up for your location. So if you've got like a Facebook or something, something like that, a, an account, you can um, set it so it will automatically um, um, track where where you are and, and add it to apps like Facebook, for example. We don't want that, so we'll just hit continue, and then we'll just go don't use. Okay, this comes up and it says now with an Apple ID and wants you to register an Apple ID. We don't want to do anything like that now, so we'll just hit skip and skip again. Alright, terms and conditions. Uh, you have to basically agree to these, so you might as well just hit continue and then agree. Alright, and we'll come up with your full name. So in here I'll just put in uh, anything, one, two, three. Alright, and then we'll ask for a password as well, one, two, three again. One, two, three. Now, in your hint there, you can put in um, just a hint that will tell you what your password is in case you forget it. So we might just type in one, two, three, three is a hint, and we'll hit continue. Right, select your time zone. So I'm going to select Sydney, Australia, and continue. Now you can register your copy if you want. You can put in your details there and register it to wherever you are. I'm just going to take the tick out of keep up to date with Apple News software updates. That's fine. And I'm just going to hit skip on that menu and then skip again. Alright, and now it's all set up. Alright. There we go. That's the familiar screen there. So that's how to. That's the tutorial on how to uh, install Mountain Lion, uh, a clean install, yeah, via from from the DVD. Uh, so thanks. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial. Catch you later. Bye bye.